Hi everyone, in a previous video I showed you how to do an automatic transmission fluid change on a 2012 JH Series 2 Holden Cruise turbo diesel. Um, what I couldn't do in that video was show you how to check the transmission fluid temperature before you actually go and set the fluid level in the transmission. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So the first thing you need to do is buy one of these little jiggers. So it's an ELM327 uh, OBD2 interface. So this plugs into your car and provides real-time um, data on a variety of parameters which include the transmission fluid temperature. So you're able to read this uh, by connecting to this device uh, via Wi-Fi from your smartphone. So this one's, my phone's an Android phone. So I'll show you how to do that um, today. These things here, you can buy them for about 25 bucks off eBay. Um, so yeah, well worth grabbing one. So I'll show you um, how this all works and uh, you'll know how to find the um, transmission fluid temperature of your vehicle so you can set the fluid level properly when you do the automatic transmission fluid change. All right, so I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I don't know whether you can see that too well, but in the driver's side footwell, there's a port for the OBD, OBD2 um, interface to plug into. So it's in the driver's side footwell, uh, just near the uh, lever for opening the bonnet. So that's plugged in now, um, and the car's idling. Uh, you can see it's got power, we've got one LED light lit there. I'll turn my phone on and connect to it and then you'll see uh, the, LED, the other LED lights uh, light up and then you know that you've got a connection to it and you're getting data. So I'll show you that in a sec. Okay, so we've got it fired up and you'll see that it'll show up in your phone um, here, uh, Wi-Fi OBD2. Uh, so we just connect to that. Hopefully, we'll get a connection in a sec. And I'll just while that's doing that, I'll just show you um, the app we're going to use to check the data. So you see here, um, I've installed Talk Pro. So you need the Pro version. There's a free version or light here. Uh, you need the pro version. It costs about four dollars, or four dollars fifty. So um, cheap, well worth it. Uh, so grab that, install it on your phone, um, and then when you fire that up, um, hopefully, I'll just duck out of. Just have a look and see if I've got a connection. Just one second. Okay, so we've got a connection to the phone and you can see um, all the lights lit up on that uh, OBD2 adapter so you can see that you've got a connection and your phone's taking data. So I'll just show you the phone. Okay, so we've got a connection to the vehicle. You can see that up there. Um, I'll just show you what you need to do. So um, you need to add the... Um, sensors for General Motors. So if you just go into your settings on the app and go manage extra PIDs sensors and then if you just tap on the three little dots up here and you want to add a predefined set and then you want to pick GM Opel uh, Vauxhall and Pontiac. Once you've done that you'll end up with a set of um, new um, I'll just get out of that um, sensors down here and you'll end up with down the bottom here somewhere a set of three transmission temperature PIDs so there we go there so uh, transmission fluid temp GM method 1, um, fluid temp GM method 2, and GM method 3. 
I've found that um, the GM fluid temp uh, method 2 is the one that works for me. So I've added that um, to the front screen. So if you go in here and go into real time information, at the moment the car is switched off so it's not showing any revs. Um, but yeah, if you go to um, and add a little widget for the uh, transmission fluid temperature, uh, you can see that I've added that up there. So it's 78 degrees Celsius at the moment. Coolant temperature is 83 degrees Celsius. Um, what I found was um, it took about um, a good 25 to 30 minutes to get the transmission fluid temperature up to um, you know around 90, 95 degrees Celsius. So once I'd done that, I came back, uh, parked the car in the garage and let it idle. Um, and got it down uh, to about 90 degrees Celsius uh, when it was idling in the garage. And once I'd reached that temperature, then I was able to uh, remove the uh, bolt on the side of the transmission uh, while the car was idling and uh, just drain any excess transmission fluid out of the transmission. So uh, it slowed to a drip and then I knew that I had the right amount of uh, transmission fluid temperature in the vehicle. So yeah, so that's pretty much what you need to do. Um, yeah, download the Torque Pro app, uh, get yourself an ELM uh, 327 um, OBD2 um, reader, plug that into the vehicle, um, set up your Torque Pro app uh, to get your transmission fluid temperature um, widget, and then, yeah, Bob's your uncle. Um, yeah, you can set the um, transmission fluid temperature correctly. So that's it. Hope this video has helped. Thank you.